A call to order. This is the third regular meeting of the 2010-2011 Common Council, and as is customary, our city clerk, Sue Richards, will read the quote of the evening. Thank you, Mayor. Give to us clear vision that we may know where we stand and what to stand for, because unless we stand for something, we shall fall for anything. Thank you, Sue. Roll call, please. Warren. Here. Bauk. Here. Bowers. Here. Decker. Here. Gisha. Here. Hammond. Here. Hannah. Here. Heidemann. Here. Koth. Here. Kittleson. Excused. Montemayor. Here. Radke. Here. Rinfleisch. Here. Vanderweel. Here. Versi. Here. And Wangaman. Here. Fifteen present. We have a quorum, and now if uh, Alderman Bauk can please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Corey. Looking for approval of the minutes of the prior Common Council meeting. A motion to approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. If there is none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, Mayor, oh, Mayor's appointments. President Kisha. Your Honor, I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, we'll let Steve go first. We'll let Steve go <laughs> first. You. Honorable members of the council, I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Barbara Knopf to be considered for appointment to the Housing Authority to fill the unexpired term of Toby Watson, whose term expires on 4-22-2013, signed by the mayor. Thank you, Steve. President Kisha. Round two, a uh, motion to suspend the, uh, the rules so that the appointment second. can be made. We have a motion and a second for suspension of the rules. Is there anybody opposed to suspending the rules? Uh, I will explain why we're suspending the rules, because uh, the uh, Housing Authority has a meeting coming up uh, this coming week, and they would like uh, Ms. Knauf at that meeting. If there is no opposition, the rules are suspended. Looking for a motion Your to Honor, approve. a motion to approve the appointment. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the appointment under discussion. A little information about Ms. Knauf, please, if you got any there. Uh, Ms. Knauf has been on the Housing Authority for many years. Uh, she was uh, originally going to be replaced by Toby Watson. However, there was a residency issue that came up. The Housing Authority requested that, uh, that uh, Ms. Knauf be reappointed to the Housing Authority, and I agreed. So she is, uh, has been on the Housing Authority for many years. Okay, thank you. Any further discussion? There, there is no discussion. Roll call, please. Warren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. And Wangaman? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Public forum? None. No public forum this evening. Uh, next on the list is a proclamation. Mayor's proclamation for the uh, National Day of Prayer. Uh, I know that uh, there has been a little bit of uh, uh, some action from the Freedom From Religion Foundation, uh, 14,500 members strong that uh, um, opposed the uh, National Day of Prayer. <coughs> However, in keeping with our theme of uh, majority rules, um, 330 million other people are uh, uh, the majority over 14,500 people. So if you are a member of the Freedom From Religion Foundation, please uh, close your ears at this time. Office of the Mayor, City of Sheboygan Proclamation. In prayer, let us ask that God's light may illuminate the minds and hearts of our people and our leaders so that we may meet the challenges that lie before us with courage and wisdom and justice. In prayer, let us recall with confidence the promise of old that if we humble ourselves before God and pray and seek his face, he will surely hear and forgive and heal and bless our land. By joint resolution of the Congress approved April 17, 1952, the recognition of a particular day set aside each year as National Day of Prayer has become a cherished national tradition. Since that time, every president has proclaimed an annual National Day of Prayer, resuming the tradition begun by the Continental Congress. 
Now therefore I, Bob Ryan, Mayor of the City of Sheboygan, do hereby proclaim Thursday, May 6, 2010 as the National Day of Prayer in Sheboygan and call upon our citizens to join me in prayer that day. I ask them to gather at Fountain Park at noon or in their homes and places of worship with their ministers and teachers of religion and heads of families to give thanks for every good thing God has done for us and seek his guidance and strength in the conduct of our lives. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set by my hand and caused the great seal of Sheboygan to be affixed done this third day of May in the year of our Lord 2010, signed by myself. Thank you. Uh, Mayor's announcements. The only announcement I have is the National Day of Prayer is on Thursday. There are many <coughs> meeting places uh, um, in, the, in the city at different congregations, uh, houses of worship, and uh, at Fountain Park. And I urge everybody who wishes to participate. Consent agenda. President Kishan. Thank you, Your Honor. I move to accept and file all reports of officers, accept and adopt all reports of committees, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. We have a motion. Second. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Under discussion, Alderman Versi. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to uh, remove uh, 36, our own number, 5526-0910. The uh, two separate vote and separate discussion. Okay, 3 6, an RP by Public Protection and Sef Safety recommending filing various departmental monthly reports. You want to pull that for a separate vote? Yes. Okay, do we have a, do we have a second on that? Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second and a separate vote on 3 6. Uh, that will be pulled for a separate vote. So on the consent agenda, we will first take. 31 through 35 and 37 through 321. Under discussion on everything but 36. If there is no discussion, roll call please. Belk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. And Bourne? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. And now 3-6 uh, under discussion. Alderman Versi. Hopefully it, it, this can be cleared up a little bit easier, but it's just actually a uh, question for the fire chief on the uh, last quarterly quality assurance and quality improvement report that he submitted to PPNS on Wednesday night. You would like the fire chief to come forward, I take it? Uh, I believe so. If you can be cleared up real quick. Um, that's, it was just on a response time issue that was Chief in. Herman. So item number three? On the yeah. List is what you're looking at. Okay. Yep. And actually, you, you got to have this corresponding paperwork is 3-54 that I submitted on Friday. Hopefully it can just be cleared up real quick. Time to do it. Okay, so we are referring to uh, which our num RO number on here? Um, it would be RO... 52609-10. Okay, 52609-10 by the fire chief submitting the fire department's first quarter 2010 EMS quality assurance and quality improvement report for January 1st, 2010 through March 21st, 2010. Cor correct. Alderman Bursey. Hopefully it's a simple question here. Um, just kind of going through the report, I uh, was reading through and seeing the response times, meeting the 90% yet, you know, five minutes or better. And that also includes non-emergent requests, delayed responses due to weather. Um, and also on the back, where you have documented on calls over six minutes, you have 20 calls. Um, I went and had, for everyone, printed out the, from the police department. The first question actually goes, where do you guys get response times from? To, to create this report that you have on the back, on your response times, where do you create, where do you generate those numbers from? There, there's three different areas. They're, they're documented by computer, computer in the dispatch by the dispatchers themselves when we radio in and off our awards report. Okay, and that's where I got this report that I have on here is the ambulance response times listing and it's on the back of this document and I just was going through just trying to see where the same numbers came from. Do you have, I, you have them documented on here, the 20 calls that were over six minutes. Non-emergency request is pretty easy there. Going through, I actually ended up counting 63 calls over six minutes 
and 32 of which were over 10 minutes. Um, I spoke with some dispatchers just to make sure it's not error. Um, is there an easy explanation to why there's a, such a huge discrepancy? Uh, some of the times, the, if they don't press the button in the rig, it does not get entered on the computer. So that would be one of the reasons. Okay. If you go on the wards report, it'll be a more accurate showing. Than what the police department has? Right. Okay. And that's, that's that simple of an explanation on some of the detailed requests to um, response times, some of the important calls. I mean, if you go through and actually the very first page, I mean, just documentation on seeing those responses with, when you do the itemized and actually the incidental detail print. I mean, some of them they have little notes, gentleman lying in the driveway from his head, you know, is a 19 minute response time. Um, I counted through and just the ones that are printed out are over 10 minutes. How does it correlate with the 20 calls over six minutes? Again, I don't have the report in front of me. I wasn't prepared to speak on it, but our numbers are accurate off awards. And, and once again, uh, how it's documented at dispatch by the computer, uh, there are errors. Sure. Alder, uh, Alderman Versi, are you familiar with the awards report? Yes, I am. I talked, talked with Stephanie about it. Um, but 43, I mean, I, I was going to give it enough for human error and report error. But 43 calls is kind of a huge discrepancy. Is there a way we can pinpoint that a little bit better between the two reports to get more of an accurate number? I'd have to confer with Deputy Chief Butler. He really does the analysis of our, okay. our response times. But yeah, there is a way. OK. Yeah, are we able to get more in-depth report calls to us? I think the chief answered the question. Okay. He said he would look into that. OK. <laughs> President no, Gisha, would you like to speak? Yeah, thank you. All very appropriate questions and all perhaps could have been answered prior to having a department head come up without the knowledge of this data or given this report prior or even a phone call to him. Uh, certainly not inappropriate questions if you can't get answers from a department head, but to have a, it's unfair to have any department head come up without giving them the data and then peppering them with questions and stuff they don't have in front of them. So uh, it, I just think taking the the appropriate step and courtesy of having a discussion with the chief would have been a, would have probably helped the situation. Okay. Thank you, President Kisha. If I can just uh, have a bit of input here. Um, I know that uh, uh, this is a, a new council. Um, normally, uh, which I've, I've said in, in prior council meetings, um, this should be discussed at the committee level and not when it comes into the consent agenda in the council. It should be discussed at the committee level when the report. Now, I understand, Alderman Versi, that you are new to the council and were probably not present at this particular PPNS meeting. You were. But I was last minute information. Okay. All right. Well, it, you know, in the, in the future, we should keep this type of discussion at committee level sure. and not when it comes in on consent agenda. But do you have any other discussion? There is no other discussion on uh, passing 3-6 on the consent agenda. Alderman Rindfleisch, did you have? No, I just moved that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. We don't, have, we don't have a motion on it yet. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have a motion and a second that the report Remember of that? committee be accepted and adopted under the consent agenda. If there is no further discussion, roll call, please. Bowers? No. Excuse me? Pardon? Did you say no? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? No. Wangeman? No. Oren? Aye. And Bauk? Aye. 12 ayes, 3 noes. Motion carries. Communications and petitions 3 22 to be referred. Reports of officers 2, 3 23 through 3 39 to be referred. Resolutions introduce 3, 3 40 by Alderman Bourne, authorizing advertising for bids for the 2010 Portland Cement Concrete Sidewalk Program. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. President Gisha. 
a silly question. Portland cement program, is there a difference between Portland cement and regular cement? It's a, it's a rookie question who doesn't know anything about construction. Uh, just curious. Bill Bittner in the house tonight? You know anything about Portland cement, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> I think he does. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. It's, that means it's imported from Portland. <laughs> yeah. Portland cement is the common name for what we use to make concrete. Cement could be any kind of glue. Portland really says it's, it's the s material used in concrete. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bill. We learned something. Any other questions about Portland cement? <laughs> Okay, if there are none, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 3-41 by Alderman Boren, authorizing the appropriate city <coughs> officials to graciously accept an offer from the Bikes Belong Foundation to pay for all expenses for one representative from the city while attending a bicycling infrastructure best practices in Boulder, Colorado from June 9th through the 11th, 2010. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Under discussion, I thought that this was going to be a trip for the new chairman of public works, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be a trip for the mayor, but uh, that didn't happen either. A bicycle for two. <laughs> Alderman Hanna. Yes, thank you, Mr. It's a long tradition that the mayor goes on these trips. So I uh, it was last fall, at least, and it was well worthwhile. Thank you. Uh, no, I don't know who is going from the city. Our city engineer, Ryan Sazma. Ryan Sazma, lucky guy. And it, and it actually is a great program. I, I had the uh, opportunity to go to Holland last year, Holland, Northern Germany, with the same group. Uh, great group and uh, um, great for the uh, future of non-motorized transportation in our county. Okay, if there is no further discussion, roll call, please. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kahn? Aye. Montemayor? Ha Aye. <laughs> Radke? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Wong Wongerman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Falk? Aye. And Bowers? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 3-42 by Alderman Gisha authorizing retaining outside legal counsel to represent the city in the matter of Margaret M. Rahmer et al. against the city and authorizing payment for said services. President Gisha. Your Honor, I'm asking for suspension of the rules. I'd be happy to supply an explanation. Do we have a second on suspending the rules? Second. Motion to second. Uh, explanation, please. The explanation is this uh, suit's been hanging around for quite some time and now it, they've now filed. Actually, they filed an intent earlier and now they actually... Have, uh, have filed the actual movement of the suit. So uh, it's important for us to get on this within a timely manner based on the statute. Okay, we have an explanation. Is there anybody opposed to suspending the rules? If there is none, rules are suspended. President Kisha. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. If there is none, roll call, please. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kahn? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Wongaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Falk? Aye. And Bowers? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries 3 43 and 44 to be referred. Report of Committee 6, 3-45, by Public Protection and Safety, recommending filing documents submitting a report related to the purchase and installation of a replacement city-county shared computer aid dispatch records management system, also known as CAD-RMS, for emergency responders. Alderperson Montemayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. May we also take agenda item 346 with that? Uh, yes, 346, uh, Report of Committee 8, uh, which is the uh, uh, authorizing the uh, in to appropriate city officials to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with Sheboygan County for the joint purchase of the system. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted and the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion to accept and adopt and to put the resolution upon its passage. Um, also, 3-45 would be accepted and filed. 
Yes, please. In the same motion. We have a motion and a second. Under discussion, Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, I believe our contribution is 200000 or 250000 and then I, I understand that there's another $700,000 in expenses. And I was, just happened to read this article in the paper about the $700,000. Uh, has that been resolved on how that additional $700,000 is going to be taken care of? Uh, uh, Pres I, President Gisha can answer that question. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor and Alderman Bourne. Uh, the, the plan changed slightly. First of all, in our capital improvement budget of 2009, we set aside $250,000 uh, in bonding, which we did not bond for because it all wasn't put together yet. The whole global, meaning every county, every fire service, every emergency dispatch, and everything in the whole county comes with a price tag of about $1.2 million. The, uh, the vendor wants X amount of dollars up front, and the rest is kind of, at this point, looks like extremely attractive terms where we wouldn't give them all the money up front uh, yes, because of the terms at zero percent interest zero, you don't get much less than zero unless they're going to pay us to do it the part that's uh, still so we might not even need to use that two hundred and fifty thousand previously the part that is still under discussion and I had discussions with um, with um, uh, County Board Chairman Vandersteen and uh, County Administrator Payne on Tuesday of last week and that's to come up with a percentage breakdown of what our percent would be of those funds or the annual payment, whichever way it goes, and what the other county and outlying areas, they're acting as agent for all these outlying areas. We made some progress, but that would be brought to the council for the council's voice and, uh, and approval of that. But progress has been made. The discussions have already been going on based on a previous resolution. We really didn't need this um, to come through that uh, the authorization to negotiate was already there. So the big global price tag is 1.2 million. What our percentage will be is what we're negotiating now. And the system will not be purchased until the intergovernmental intergovernment, inter agreement is hammered out. Right. Correct. Answer your question. If I, if I could just follow up. Board. Then, uh, Alderman Gisha, then we, f we should feel comfortable tonight at, at least passing this. But as you said before, it's before it's purchased, we're, we're going to be able to determine what our, what our cost actually is. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Any further discussion? If there is none, roll call, please. Gisha? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Ka? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Wonkman. Aye. Boren. Aye. Falk. Aye. Bowers. Aye. And Decker. Aye. Fifteen ayes. Motion carries. Other matters authorized by law. Attorney McLean. I'll read the the other ones. Oh, okay. Well, I will. I will go through these then. Other other matters authorized by law. Um, 3-47 will be referred to public protection and safety. 3-48 to public protection and safety. 3-49 to the special committee on risk management. 3-50 will be referred to public works. And now attorney McLean, the other other matters. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, 3-51 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2011 and June 30, 2012. That will be referred to law and licensing. 352 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2011. That will be referred to law and licensing. 353 is an RO by the finance director treasurer submitting the Sheboygan Fire Department ambulance service alternative scenarios and benchmarking analysis. That will be referred to strategic fiscal planning committee and all of you aldermen should have received that on your desk this evening. 354 is an RO by the city clerk submitting incident detail prints, Sheboygan Police Department, and summary of ambulance response times for the period 1110 through 3110 submitted by Alder Person Versi. That will be all President Kisha. Thank you, Your Honor. Based on the discussion we had tonight, I'd like this, uh, instead of referred to Committee of the Whole, referred to the Public Protection and Safety where they can have the appropriate discussion and then therefore determined by the committee structure, which is normal procedure, as to whether it should come back to committee of the whole. 
So we have, uh, this was originally um, uh, requested to be sent to the Committee of the Whole by Alderman Versi. We have a motion instead to send it to the Public Protection and Safety Committee, which I believe. Second. We have a second on that. Do we need to take a uh, vote on that? Okay, uh, all in favor of sending it to Public Protection and Safety, say aye. 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 Opposed? To pp and it goes. 355 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting a communication from Mike Trimberger of Sheridan Elementary School requesting that they be allowed to use one of the city's free days at Blue Harbor Resort for an educational conference for parents on May 27, 2010. That will be referred to finance. 356 is a resolution to authorize the transfer of appropriations in the 2010 budget. That will be referred to finance. 357 is a resolution authorizing entering into an agreement for human resource and labor relations consulting services with HR Unlimited LLC. That would be referred to salary and grievances. 358 is a resolution to authorize the transfer of appropriations in the 2010 budget. That will be referred to finance. 359, communication from Emily Petkus requesting an encroachment to place decorative landscape brick along the sidewalk in front of her home at 1213 North 4th Street. Will be referred to city planning. 360 is an ordinance granting Emily Petkus her heirs and the signs privilege of encroaching upon described portions of North 4th Street in the city for the purpose of building and maintaining a landscaping at brick wall. Will also be referred to city planning. That is all. Motion to adjourn. We have a motion to adjourn and a second. 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 And a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Aye. 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 Aye.